Well, well, well. What do we have here? Finally came in the mail. We've been waiting on this one. And you see that there? Many of you out there can probably take a stab and guess at what's inside of this box here. But we're going to go ahead and open this. And as you can see, that date 630. Date that had a little bit of significance. Because on that date, of course, back in the summer, that's when we took and, of course, passed our CCIE lab. So this is what we got here. Sweet. Must be the certificate and this plaque. It's feels a little bit uh, weighty, kind of like a book. But let's go ahead and uh, without further ado, see what we got in here. I actually waited about three months to be quite honest. I didn't know that you were actually supposed to go request and the uh, SSO once you log in the fulfillment. Uh, but lesson learned there to not just wait around in the mail for it to come. But there we go. We got that certificate validating, of course, from the chair and CEO of Cisco, Mr. Chuck Robbins. That CCIE number that a lot of us are waiting for. We've known our number here for a while, but as most of you know, it's that plaque that a lot of us wait for, so. Ooh. Triple rack, triple rack here. Uh, so we got the lapel here, CCIE lanyard, and of course, Take our time. There it is. <laughs> oh, that plaque. The very first and only, I think you only get one regardless of how many you pass. That CCIE plaque. Wow. That thing's glistening. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, this one, this one's sweet. It was a long time coming. Um, I shared in the previous video, won't be too long here, uh, but just gonna reflect back. Uh, CCIE journey really for me started overseas in Afghanistan and truth be told, got a rack of books there, but uh, we look here, this one, of course, Mr. Gordon Gettings, we worked with him over in Kandahar and Darren Lindsay in Dubai. This was actually he, not the author, but Darren Lindsay was my manager there in the UAE. And uh, he was the first CCIE that I actually ever met in person, but he was manager for a little bit under a year. And Gordon Geddens, uh, we both, of course, had our CCMP, but this is his book, Studied Together. And these guys, of course, left it with me. You got some of Gordy's notes in there. Um, but the book, of course, to me, I'm not going to say it's going to get you 20% of the way or 25, whatever percentage you want to get on it, but it provides a solid foundation for any aspiring CCIE out there, as well as the RFCs, which are a gold mine. A lot of people neglect and um, just don't read the RFCs where the true implementation and devil in the details are for many of these technologies. And um, like I said, Cisco provides the blueprint the technology, the sections, the subsections on, of course, what the lab is going to test. But it's up to you to actually, you know, lay the foundation brick by brick, build that sweat equity and, you know, learn how to just re-architect and, you know, move on the fly and readjust as necessary. Because this one, for most of us, you definitely need the support of your family and close ones around you. I mean, not just in the sheer amount of thousands of hours and uh, practice time that it really took, and uh, but just to lift you up sometimes. Many of us wake up early, 3, 4, 5 a.m. to just get the lab and the practice time in before work, put in the 8, 9, 10 hours or longer on the weekends. And it, it's a grueling or daunting task for most of us. Like I said, this back in 2013, 14, I wasn't looking to take the lab attempt anytime soon, but got a little bit serious there 
around 2016, 17, going into 18, and gave it two attempts there, of course, in Dubai and in Raleigh, RTP, before they consolidated at the single site in Richardson, Texas, and um, didn't pass. But, you know, truth be told, I mean, I have to applaud anybody that takes up this path, this journey of just learning, absorbing the knowledge, and that truly puts the work in in whatever practical type of lab that you do. And if you take any attempt, or even if you don't, like I said, my my thoughts and uh, appreciation go out to you because, because I know what it takes, um, not only to pass it, but just to go through that journey and to actually have those, those lonely moments and um, moments of failure. And, you know, this short clip of Giannis Antetokounmpo here in the NBA, I think just a brief snippet of it sums just up what it means to, regardless of what you're going through, to not be a failure. It was a goal, right, which is to get a promotion, to be able to uh, take care of your family, to be able, I don't know, um, provide the house for them or take care of your parents. You work towards a goal. It's not a failure. It's steps to success. And so I think really the crux of the lesson that he's trying to say is that through the pursuit of any of life's journey, um, whether we fall, you know, as long as we rise and know that life is truly a journey. It's not just um, point A to point B, and then that's a wrap. Um, it's really just that journey of uh, learning in our defeats and our failures and just being triumphant and celebrate the moments, but getting right back to it. Same for me. Like, there's no point in just saying, you know, just because I passed this one lap, that's the greatest thing in the world. And that, you know, I'm this or that. I got to stay on the grind to continue to pursue because technology isn't going to slow down. These acronyms that come out, they're not going to end anytime soon. Um, so truthfully, like I said, just thankful of all the folks that helped me along the way in my journey. And truly too, too many to name. And just for the opportunities, countless that arose and uh, that I, you know, took advantage of overseas, both overseas and here stateside. And um, this, again, this is a beautiful plaque. You really kind of got to see it in person. It's got a little bit of weight on it. So definitely, like I said, moving into a new office here after the new year, I'm going to put this on the shelf. Um, but I'm I'm truly happy, and this is a culmination, at least in that part of my journey, of a job well done. But I really just want to encourage anybody that's pursuing this to just take it one day at a time, one command at a time, and of course, one technology at a time, and uh, continue to refine your craft. Uh, don't give up. Documentation is kind of key. I know you got to uh, do repetition, muscle memory for these commands, but um, really it's that muscle memory sometimes when you are clueless that will come into play. So if, you, if, you're, if you're into this one, like I said, I know you've got it. Regardless of the number of attempts, just keep trying and keep absorbing, keep growing, keep showing, and of course sharing that knowledge and experience that you gain along the way with others because it takes a village and that's what it's all about. Definitely want to continue to inspire and encourage others to get into networking, not just Cisco. There's definitely many vendors out there. Uh, this is definitely a great company and a great validation of the material that they have. But again, the sky is truly the limit for each and every one of you out there. Like I said, just one more time, beautiful plaque. But as always, I just want to thank each and every one of you out there for rocking in here with me today. Special video here, finally got this plaque. But until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, peace.